Yeah, and you know, I feel like RA's mantra is going to be the Rocky thing of it's not how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit because that's RA. RA aren't necessarily coming in and slaughtering you, they're just taking the punches, doing less fiesta -y things than you, and then just coming out on top in the end. You already highlighted the Corky being the go-to first pick for the side of your Adam, so... Even within a series, we're seeing priorities completely change. Both AD carries still being left open. LNG can opt into the Jinx right here if they want. I definitely feel like it is the, the, favor, the more favorable side of yep. the Aphelios matchup. If not, they can always look to just take away a support here and put Lumao something he's comfortable on. Uh, Leona something we've been seeing a lot throughout the day, but it does look like it'll just be the Jinx in the end. Even the Thresh, if that comes through, I think for Lumao, you know, something that goes back to the core root of when he was so strong in the LPL and you know as Dwayne says with drive and a bit of talent you can move mountains and that's what I believe about Lou Mao at his prime but as long as it's not the Lulu alongside the Jinx normally it is we'll have to find out Lyric on the other side jungle is still available Jarvan there the Aphelios you talked about being the other side of the matchup it seems to fall in place yeah you can also pick up the Thresh yourselves if you want take that away from the the Jinx and have the mobility there in that bottom side for the Aphelios, I would say picking up a jungler here like Jarvan can be potentially weird. They still go for it anyway because you can take that Thresh Lantern and have the mobility if he decides to lock down light. But still, Lien decides to go for it. Lyric on the other side. That means the Thresh is a conversation piece. It means that Lu Mao could be on something a bit better this time. And, and again, this, this suits him a lot more. I, I really hope we get that man on your screen to, to pull up an MVP performance. That, that's what it's going to take at this so, point for us to be positive on it. I have a question for you, as you are much more creative than me, uh -huh. or if there might already be a name, right? If Jarvan Rumble is the hot pot, what is Corky package in Jarvan Ultimate? Well, you'd still call it a hot pot, but that's already coined, isn't it? Because I yeah. feel like it, it, it'd be like a package closet. See, that's where I would start. And I'll, I'll let you know if... if the what's a package class a package cataclysm like a package classic right oh there's a, a delivery into a into a cataclysm all right all right you you sir are not creative we clearly what need much or how Dagda is that not creative <laughs> to, that was a package to coin classic. a name dude i literally i gave you ram jam earlier on i don't know why you're saying you, I'm did, not you did you did you did Okay, well, I'll find you know, a bit you know what else is being given? RA giving us more mid lane bans, which is not surprising, right? They've picked their mid laner, enemy hasn't. For LNG, it's something you've hit on that we know Duenby can bring out a lot of different picks. They always can opt into a mid game setup. Actually, the Vex taken away. I think that would have been something interesting to go into the Corky. We've seen it a few times. Other things that we haven't really seen brought out, but theoretically possible. Uh, Twisted Fate, you, you, I, I think it is a bit of a, a worse matchup for the TF on that end. We have things like, heck, Duenby doesn't even play the Syndra, doesn't play the Zoe. So I'd say a lot of these these powerful mid-game mages uh, aren't typical things we've seen of Duenby. I remember Duenby yeah. promised us he'd play, du he'd play Zoe last split, oh, yeah, and then he too. never found a chance to. It's just so funny seeing four mid lane banned against him. We've got Silas, Vex, uh, Rise, Twisted Fate, like... Oh, Do and be, band, yeah, yeah. Do be, do has been targeted, dude. Like, they're, they're definitely putting priority on him, and I like it from RA, considering that. Look, we've given Strive a nice matchup once again. He was a big highlight. Now game number one, and they're set up lyric to be a composition with great scaling once again. But we know that's in the meta, and Jack's pick last against the Gwen. So, I'll get you to run this composition for me in a second. I want to hold. Oriana's not seen too much. Doombi did play it last year, surprisingly. He, he's not someone you look at and be like, oh, he's an Oriana player. We'll have to hold and see. I expect the victory to just come out once again. It has the favorable laning matchup. It's one of Doombi's historic champions. Like, for the old school fans of Doombi, right? It was all about Victor and Rise coming out in a lot of those days. So they are just going to default back to that one. Comps looking very similar uh, once again. Though I think it is pretty nice that they broke up the Corky Jinx duo in terms of like Corky does our range Victor later with Rockets and Jinx so on and so forth. We went over this. So you kind of a bit on both ends. You will have uh, Gwen, who is better for team fights than the Jax later on, but Jax will have that, that side lane prio. And then the difference in bot lanes, right? The Braum coming out instead of the Thresh. So I think Braum can definitely do a lot to tilt these team fights into RA's favor. You have a ton of AoE lockdown, a ton of AoE damage to follow up. So where LNG this time around do feel like the ones who 
are happier to fight in those those open spaces like we were hitting on earlier. League of Legends was, you know, on its on its starting legs. Now we have a man with a Gatling gun riding a, a flying pelican or seal, whatever that thing is. Like the, the game has just evolved so many different ways. So welcome to Summoner's Please. Rift. Please, just because you are not playing when Earth was around, do not disrespect Earth. He was only around for a but, day. You know, was, he was around enough. But like you're saying, okay. going into the game, I mean, there, there's really nothing unexpected on either side. We've been seeing a lot of press the attack of Elios coming out today for those nice Can short trades and the nice little bit of burst you go. Lethal Temple and the Jack Standard. We've been seeing a lot more Conqueror coming out from Gwen in the LPL than we have been seeing of the Lethal Tempo. Lethal Tempo, of course, giving you a bit of a stronger laning power as compared to Conqueror, which does just scale up better for Gwen, giving you more damage, giving yep. you more of the heal, which just uh, goes with the innate sustain that you uh -oh. have in your game as well. And doing B has to flash at level one. That is not what you want to happen it if LNG not. want to pick up a game to win. I mean, Zora loves mid. And you can see that RA's game plan of putting focus around this guy ha has been there from start to, to where we are now. Zora last game lyric. It was all about the roams and getting Strive into a comfortable phase. I think he forced out a flash from Doombi at the 10 minute mark as well. So he's doing a really good job of making sure he's known. And especially coming from low end starting the bottom side, Lyric, that can be punished quite easily. Oh, definitely. Especially when we look at the fact that there's also a Jarvan, right? Like like you're saying, Lillian's on Jarvan. Sora potentially might have more room for roams. I would doubt it with the fact that they're up against Jinx Thresh. But immobile mid laner, champions on the opposite side that can punish. Now we just want to see Lillian go for these plays. Lillian has shown he can be quite aggressive and does like to set up his lane. So I wouldn't be too surprised. A bit of a flip from how we thought of Lillian before, where he was very much like, hey... I'm going to farm, and I'm going to counter jungle, what? and I might go look for the 1v1, but I'm not necessarily going to set up my lanes. That, Cube just flashed. Cube just flashed for that. That's an aggressive trade. That's literally showing. <laughs> I don't know what that's showing, but uh, Cube is absolutely crazy. It's the flash of intimidation. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's one word for it. Other people in solo queue would be saying something else. Let me tell you what. So, flash now down top. And that means he matches Doombee's flash. Maybe he's just a bro. True. Wanting to make sure it's fair on both sides. Pings are coming out around the mid lane, though. Doombee does have a ward. So oh, we will spot out Le Yen, so he won't be punished this time around. No camps up on top side for Le Yen to be able to take away. So probably will just go for the scuttle. Tarzan playing around his strong side of the map as well. Oh. With Light and Luna oh. having push in that lane. Strive, though! Down. That was close. Yeah, it doesn't burn the flash. Uh, you'd say good trigger fingers lyric, but... Importantly as well, Doombi spotted Le Yen going back over the ward again. So good information to send him packing. And Doombi just asserting his dominance a little bit. Teleport still available for both mid laners, and it looks like they'll both use it. And we've seen this a lot in the past week of Victor's just running down Corky's with the Corrupting Potion, autoing them down. Strive looks like he might get punished again. Does that flash available? Oh, Lumao making the roam. That was close, but Valkyrie in the nick of time. Unfortunate for Lumao. I'd like to see it, Lyric. Because we talked about Lumao in the past being one of the biggest roaming supports in the LPL. Back when he was on JDG. Back when JDG were in their prime in 2020. Lyric, he'd come in. He'd, he'd make his movements and, and sync up with Kanavi. And it's nice to see that Lumao has started this game off in, in that fashion. Oh, Lumao finding a nice window. So far, it's been all about mid lane. Which isn't too surprising for a team that doing bees on. But Strive has been getting a little bit of help so far. No LNG with some nice words, spotting out Lo Yen once again. And it looks like we're in for another wait for Drake's, stack him up, see who executes in the fight better. Yeah. Probably some shenanigans along the way. What I like to hear shenanigans along the way. Two flashes that are about to come up and maybe in a couple of minutes, I should say. Cube going on for the counter strike again. Ignite available for Arla. So he has the combat summoner advantage. Doombi continues to push out the mid wave. Uh, it is an Infernal Start Lyric. That's a shiny little emblem on our bottom left. Oh my god. Very scary. But Tarzan is here near the mid lane. Before we look at the Dragon Lyric, I think we need to look at the low health mid lanes. And for Join B, he's been doing so well of not only just playing safe in a 1v2. Oh my god. Zora's back. Strive trades his life, but that's first blood over to Rare Adam. Zora is an absolute unit today. Yeah, still though. I'm a bit surprised he went for that play. I think there was no way that Strive wouldn't go down. 
when looking for that play so aggressively when he's on about 20 percent hp can be only need to take it off like two abilities to finish him off they still do end up with a one for one though wave looks like it's about neutral lng gonna try and start up the dragon on this one sadly we aren't late enough into the game where there's a package for the corky so he won't be able to have the biggest of influence yet but everyone's on the way looks like we're gonna full on 4v4 but now it looks worse for LNG from the previous play, depending on how the dragon goes as well. Zora moving in, Eyeboy tagged with the zap as well. Gravity field, but they just turn for LNG. They've got numbers advantage for now as they split them off, but Loyan going back in. I still think LNG are okay with this. Tarzan running away, Strive going after him, but you've abandoned Eyeboy. As the AD carry goes down, LNG laugh in their faces. <laughs> they completely abandon one of the main damage dealers for them right now. LNG picking up a ton of kills. Also, right now we see Lumao kind of hovering around mid. Doesn't look like they want to go for anything. Maybe they thought about trying to use Dwayne B for a bait for the fact that Strive is full HP. He's not. Instead, just going to go for the faster recall so they do have a bit of tempo heading towards the bottom side. Tarzan does have his camps up down there. Maybe once he gets those cycled through, we'll have light back on the map and you can potentially look to start up a dragon. Getting pretty close to Herald Timer though, Hysterics. We're going to yeah. have a package soon. Let's watch this one though. This was first blood where it was a trade and, and Lyric, you know, calling it out where Doombi gets a trade kill. That's pretty good. Ooh, and gonna go straight into the second one. Lumao opening it up with a hook. They do instantly catch out Lud again. But as we see iBoy flashing forward, thinking that they could save him. Sora already taken too low. Strive going the opposite direction to finish off another kill, and it leaves iBoy all by his lonesome. Overestimating his burst just by a little bit. Just a little bit. But you like to see flashing forward in the LVL. It's happened every day since we've started this 2022 spring split. And Lyric, as we return, that is a 3-1 victor in the mid lane. That's a 2-1 Corky too. So Strive and Doombi at the center of our attention for the second game. And it's really fun to see, right? We kind of came into today's matchup harping on jungle and then how it impacts mid. And I feel like that's definitely what we've been seeing. Even a lot of the kills so far, right? It's coming from either outplaying on ganks or outplaying in some of these, these skirmishes around mid, around dragon, uh, potential dives coming out. And both teams doing quite well. I think doing be quite ahead of where he theoretically should be on a timer at this point in the game. Going to be pretty close to his mythic. Start having a pretty nice impact in the team fights. And considered we still don't have a neutral objective taken and Rift Herald is up, you would expect to start seeing things go down now. Private package, RA just start dragging. All right, Infernal to kick things off. Loyen has hit level six as well, by the way, folks. So get rid of that cap, get ready for the Cataclysm package you already mentioned there as well. So the package Clasm will be coming together. I still haven't thought of a better name. I'll let you know if that develops whatsoever. But even LNG have moved towards that Herald lyric. Kings are going down now, but RA are just evading the bottom side. Instead, they're going to play the angle here with Lumao getting a nice hook and Luyen getting out already. Tarzan pulls out the Crescent Slash and Highboy caught out yet again. This early game is easy. <laughs> An almost done deal as Zora and Luyen get out narrowly. Lyric 4 and 1 now for Doombi. LNG giving up the dragon, but, but thinking, hey, we can rotate on the play. Looks collapse with superior positioning. Kind of using Fog of War, really nice from Bloom out. Gets the hook onto Le Yen and just sets up the play beautifully. It would be now so far ahead, just continuing to poke out Strive like we saw earlier on in the game. But he knows that Jarvan wouldn't be on the map yet, so he's able to start chunking down some of his turret. And luckily doesn't get punished. Does need to be careful. Le Yen does have that Cataclysm like you talked about. And now both teams are going to start going up towards this Rift Herald. Now, though, Strive doesn't have a package. They do have Cryo in topside with the Jax. But multiple members of LNG are going to start funneling in through this mid lane. No AD carry there, though. I have Boy still in the bottom lane by himself. And Light looks to be going to match him. This Herald seems to be the pings out. Loom out. Mobility boots, so he'll get there fast. We'll pause on that see what it comes back to live lyric. Because this was a nice pincer. Like I said, they, they waited for RA to take the dragon, predicted that they would be here. You can see Gwen spotting out Corky on the opposite side, so they should know that they have numbers. Bloom out hitting that hook from Fog of War. Sets up for the kill on the Eye Boy, and this one was just so close. Had Zora and Lien been a little bit closer to each other, that would have been two kills for the side of LNG. That would have been a very big deal, as it's 0-0-4 for Light. Wasn't able to pick up any of the kills. 
but at least he's still got some gold just to an advantage over Eyeboy. Herald's being started here, folks. No control ward to spot out that left side ward. Unfortunately, it is too far away. RA committing to the bottom side for now, Lyric. You can see where Zora is with the Glacial Fisher available. Light, uh, he just up with Summoners. I think Zora is just going to party there for the time being and share some of the gold. Yeah, they didn't have a wave by the time that Zora was able to get there. It looks like they're waiting for Lil Yen to make his way down as well. At least able to steal a blue buff on the opposite side. But LNG aren't crying too much because they've picked up a Herald. Looks like Boing be even getting able to play mid. We just bite miss. Okay, actually, Light can probably kill Eyeboy as the Glacier Fisher slows him down. Luckily enough, Zora's ulti burned, and that's a bit unfortunate from Rare Adam's bottom line. And this is one of the things, right, when you looked at Rare Adam, is you thought that their bot lane was a bit suspect. Oh, Lo Yan gonna regret this one. The win definitely became lightning. And as Lo Yan hodls away, it could have been a lot worse here. Flash burn as well, Lyric, and this game's only just heating up. As, you know, we're getting shenanigans a foot on each angle. Lou Mal just sends it. Well, life's gonna help him spot it out. And we're at a point now where it feels like Light, Lou Mao, and Doing B all just have pressure in their their individual matchups and for Tarzan all he has to do is kind of hover and pivot between these two lanes matching where Lo Yen will be and then LNG will always be able to come out on the favorable end of the trade they are going to take away the spot lane turret dropping the rip herald right now so getting more gold onto their AD carry you'd, you'd expect late probably should be able to back be pretty close to his mythic with this one clear out the wave and now heck Maybe start sending them towards mid, start pushing together as a unit into the enemy jungle, getting down some vision. Dragon, one minute away, so you'd expect it to be down towards that bottom half of the map. 2,500 gold in the lead for LNG, Lyric. Uh, notes there is LNG, again, guys, we talked about it in their first series against Ultra Prime. LNG 2-0, but it was a bit of a shaky 2-0. Game 1 RA took control and led them into disaster. As we'll watch this again, Lyric, and see how Light kind of maneuvered down. Nice sidestepping! Hang on a minute. Ooh. That's hot. That's that's yeah, like this is clean. That's like Gucci hot. No, oh, Derek's coming in. Okay, sorry, uh, you don't. You obviously don't like handbags. Is, that's fine. All right, uh, Luck versus Eye Boy. Eye Boy. Out the wing. You just he's don't gone. care. Yeah, he's dead. dead. You know, Derek. Let's just both actively take a water break. Build tension in silence. Dude. <laughs> this game doesn't need to be cast. It'll speak for itself. We won't do our job. <laughs> oh, no. I think some people will understand the reference. Need to work here. Arla on top of cube. He gets out. And he actually doesn't take too much damage. And Zora's up here. The winter's bite with the concussed blows. He's in a lot of trouble. The counter strike as well. In the ring. Arla dead. And Zora seems to be the man making things happen. Yeah, Braum roaming around the map, having such an impact. Only involved in three kills, but RA only have three kills. So Zora has been the man helping make everything happen. On the opposite side, though, LNG are taking absolutely everything. Getting oh, a are. tower. Look at the vision in the enemy jungle. Picking up a dragon. Going to be still holding it down in the mid lane. And, uh, I mean, for LNG, you, you got a kill on Jax. Pretty yeah. cool. What um, what is better than Gucci? You know, Gucci handbags. Like, what what do we go higher than that? I think maybe Hugo Boss. Maybe not. I don't know. The the most expensive thing I ever bought was a, a traveling backpack, and it was about 150. I was gonna say you are the type of person that when we walk into the store, you look at the water and you're like, oh my god, this water's 50 cents, not not 35 cents. Why would you not what, drink what tap do? water? Drink tap water. What, what are you <laughs> Fill up your water bottle. Why would you buy water from Woolies? If you buy water from the Woolies most, or Coles, Coles, that makes no sense. The most economically efficient human being I've ever worked with. Maybe you need to be on the rift helping you know, out these guys. My finances is going to the moon, man. <laughs> going to the moon. Hey, if LNG continue this way, they'll be there shortly too. They're three and a half thousand gold up. You keep talking about turrets going down. Light is in a very good financial position as well. We've got one and a half items on the victim mid. Doombi was the most fed member through the laning phase. Still is Lyric as we get to 15 minutes of the game. And we've got another package for Strive, but nothing's up. So Orcs is now tilted. For the side of LNG, looks like they're just trying to play back and forth. Push in mid with Victor, start rolling up to their top side. 
keep trying to choke out RA from having vision in their own jungle. They do need to be a bit careful because of the package that you just highlighted. But it looks like RA are just completely pivoting towards the opposite side of the map. We can see on our mini-maps, iBoy and Lil Yen both making their way towards spot. And just conceding, hey, you know, LNG are so strong right now. They have four-man topside. Even if we match, we can't look to contest. Okay. So let's try and zone this Gwen off the bottom lane turret. And it looks like Ala probably just going to go in recall right now. Keep himself out of harm's way. Oh, makes perfect sense. Light with the solo turret as well. It's going to be a beautiful thing to witness. Uh, Lyric, in this game, remind me... No, pause. Don't remind me of anything. Lurian needs to get out. Chaos Storm's there. And he doesn't want to flash, but he might have to. Is it too late? Doombi has his own. There's a hex gate there. He's not going to take it this time around, but would have been. I, I don't want to see hex gates anymore. Dude, hex gates. We saw are hex fun. gates earlier. It's okay. Zoom took one, guys. If you missed out on that series, Zoom took a hex gate that was just brilliant. Just beyond brilliant. And did it lose the game for them? Is that the game they lost? The hex gate wasn't good. Yeah, yes. I think yes. I think that was the game they lost. Yes, oh. that was the, the Kaisa game on the opposite side. So, yeah. did lose. I also want to highlight, going back to what we just saw on our screens, really nice reaction by LNG to play both sides of the map, right? You you keep your bot lane uh, towards top. You see some movement down the bot side, and you know that they're not contesting you top, so you know the movement's going to come through. You bring Doinby down to counter out the play. And now for LNG, they're still keeping up pressure everywhere. It looks like they're trying to get into a position where they can do the Herald. But currently... Our man in the mid lane is finishing off some wolves. Yeah, he is indeed. He is indeed, and he's picking up CS. He's 174 at 17 minutes. There's no Doombi Rise hack in this game. There's no Victor hack either, but he's definitely keeping track with the timer. Is LNG going to take yet another objective in Lyric? Uh, I, I need you to give me some more conditions for RA. What do we look forward to with LNG holding control as they get pushed out here with the TP in the top side as three members converge and Luyan gets phased face out? What do you do here? What do you hope for to try and bring this game back into an even state? I think they're making the right choice by all ending on their jacks. It's just a bit unfortunate how far ahead this victor is on the side of LNG to where he can uh, confidently walk forward in the side lane. Multiple members are just able to roam around him. They have two lanes of pressure up, so they're pretty much keeping Strive out of this game. So I feel like for the side of RA, you're kind of having... Lo Yen hover towards cube, allow him to split and take these turrets. And then on every package timer, is probably when is RA, you look at your items, you're like, hey, are we at least comparable in terms of power, in terms of our spike? And that's when you can start looking for some of these 5v5s. Oh, nice. We'll go underneath the cow stop. Lo Yen once again, the target dead, thanks to the light. A super mega death rocket of super mega proportions. It's powder. She's 2 0 on 4 and 2 kills with a cold fully completed lyric game looking easier and easier and more like we're gonna go the full distance tonight the 4k gold lead at 18 minutes in make it five just light yet again skyrocketing ahead with this goal so lng are definitely one of the teams that would be less surprising about throwing a massive gold lead so i'm definitely not counting ra out just yet but this should definitely be an lng victory from where we're at at this state in the game right dragon even about to come up lng can start making their way uh down there now heck they even look so confident they're not even going to dedicate all, all members right they're they're sending doing b to go to the top lane to catch out that wave and yeah for lng i feel like you're just going to get to a point maybe where you even look for some kind of like baron bait or a turn or something along those lines early on just from the fact that you are still decently far away from soul and if you just leave the game in this state going forward, right, you're allowing Strive to scale, you're allowing Jax to get bigger, and you're just giving RA more time to where Got they him. can find some kills. Yeah, no, good not going anywhere. Chain Chompers. And Loom out on Thresh, guys. You got to say it. From lull to this. It's looking pretty good here for his second game. Lyric, that's a pick. That opens up mid. And RA, not much they can do about it. No. I mean, Lo Yen did just watch as Lumao walked up to him pressed Q and again didn't try to preemptively EQ or, or maybe try to force out a flash from or anything ah oh, it's lyrics. ah Lyric you know maybe it's just in comparison to the top esports versus ultra prime series where it's like man top esports ultra prime top tier LPL teams rare, rare Adam versus LNG Hello. potential top tier 
You see that? You see me Which calling makes no sense. top tier. And then, then the teams LNG that go like this. Lyric, the teams, the teams that go win. The, yeah, the <laughs> teams that lost look better. And the teams that won don't. Like, I'm not sure I understand that. You know, it's not meant to be understood. LPL is not a philosophy. It is, it, it is, it is a movie. You know what? Really. If there was one word, if people came to me and said, sum up the LPL in one word, I'd say, the shy. And I'd leave it at that. And it's not that he is the LPL. It's that he embodies everything that's great about the league. Sometimes it's amazing. Sometimes you think, man, we need to recycle this. Other times you're, you're happy with where it lies. The shy in one word sums up this League of Legends. So I'm glad that, you know, we've got people no. before LEC tuning in to what is the shy. Not even blind. Speaking of the shy, though, this is a good time to preface with the fact that tomorrow is our match of the week. Weibo Gaming will be playing against Billy. Will it Billy, be, will it be Uzi? Potentially Uzi. V5 is also debuting tomorrow. So, again, potentially Rookie, potentially Karsa coming out onto the Rift. So, tomorrow's games will be absolutely amazing. I'm not going to say oh. bangers. Uh, tune in. Lyric, will it be Uzi? Everyone wants to know. Uh, we'll stay within the realms of this game because 21 minutes in, this could be going to a game three. LNG have started the Baron, and you said that they wanted to start it. Look for the turn. Eyeboy has full shurikens at the ready. They're gone. Immediately gone with Doombi over the wall, poking down the rest of RA. Baron turned off. They can do it many different times. And Cube just farming away, hoping that he's given time, as Jordan Lyric Corby said. Yeah, I feel like for LNG, it's, it's the right call. Is it a risky call? Yes. But... I think it's the easiest way to turn the cogs of the game forward into forcing them to come into Baron Pit. Of course, it is risky because they do have like Braum, they do have Corky, champions that thrive in those enclosed spaces. Because they saw they were very decisive in their turn. Uh, throwing out the Chaos Storm right away, forcing out some summoners as in Zora's Flash. You're pretty much looking for rinse and repeats. I don't think it's TS you should be allocating any resources towards bot and trying to catch out the jacks. It's all about just contesting in this 4v4 setting maybe trying to force out cubes tp by looking for this again and seeing if you can find any more picks on Yen, like it seems like blue Mao has been able to do consistently i'm just wondering why does strive keep getting the package when baron's being threatened there lyric but dragon as well a minute 15 he has teleport too would you like to to weigh in on this or am i missing something no, I don't want to weigh in. I'll leave it for Ox. I'll leave it for Ox. <laughs> okay. To, you know. Okay, well, Baron's going to be started here on full scuttle vision. A cube, Strive, both have teleport. That package will come in handy, but Baron's just being hit. They're scared to go near. Lo Yen is the smite in this. That's probably gone, guys. 1,000. Goodbye. LNG find it. RA a little bit too close for comfort, and for the free Baron, thumbs up. Yeah, <laughs> I mean... RA running forward, just staring at them, saying hello. And this is going to be one of those games where one team very slowly bleeds out. And I mean very slowly because, again, they have Corky, they have Aphelios. They're going to kill some minions in the meantime, friends. Okay. Uh, but ultimately, LNG will probably come out ahead. LNG have some nice tower taking potential themselves, right? A lot of change, a lot of long range coming out from your Victor and your Jinx. Uh, potential dive opportunities there as well. It would depend on which members of RA are covering what turret, right? Because you expect LNG to attack from multiple lanes. As they are getting high boy right is Doombe going to do it? I'm not sure. The Chaos Storm's close. And actually, Doombe's a little too far forward. Super Mega Death Rocket. Quite a lot of work there. Doombe will survive. But high boy the exact same, if only just. Both hodl away. And LNG, you know what? They're feeling that confident. They don't really lose much in the meantime. No, they're going to instantly go and pick up that Hextech Dragon. So, getting incredibly close to having the Chain Lightning and the Slow, aka better Static Ship. Not quite true. there yet. Will, will the game last that long? My guess is yes. You think it's that slow? Because it does feel that slow. We're 11 kills, 24 yes. minutes, and, you know, it does feel like the LEC or the LCS. Let's be real, guys. You're not spoilt with your games as much as we are. It might sound a little bit egotistic, but it is true. We have blood for the you blood cannot say that. You cannot say that during this game, as Cube might die. That's, that's also true. I can't say it. Need to work comes through from Parlor, but 
It is just kind of getting that advantage and pushing it forward. Light side lighting for the time being. No one cares. And LNG descended us to a game three in very calm fashion. Kind of like how RA just kept on trucking in game number one. Again, it's been a series so far built on a lot of mistakes coming out from both sides from, from individual players. I do feel like we've seen decent things come out from either side. Again, nice to see Lumao actually step up, have a bit of a better performance this time around. Uh, we already know, I think Doimi's been a standout player in every LNG game we've seen so far, even in Demacity Cup. I think he was looking quite amazing. Definitely carrying over that, that 2021 summer form into the new year. Is, well, I'm glad to see it because it's an important part of what makes this team tick. The LNG final Nexus turret, excuse me, inhibitor turret. As the top side falls down, they're all gone. The Baron buff gonna expire in 20 seconds. To see if they can end it with Hailstorm down on top of Cube. This Jax has been farming in the side lane. Can't really hold up. LNG still healthy enough. Mana bars still existing. And the Baron has eight more seconds to go. The next turrets once more getting whittled down. Kind of up to light here. All right. Seems like they're going to be able to defend for now, but the gold lead's huge. LNG almost at 10,000. RA getting absorbed of the damage of LNG. And Lyric, this next wave coming in. Light just walking up by himself. I mean, this is a clinic to end this one here. Even if LNG don't do it now, well, there's a TP. The answer is they will do it now. Oh, even package though. But Arlo by himself, does he care? Package lines them out, but the package is over no one for now. Tarzan tries to go around it. Arlo actually going golden. There's a death sentence. And for RA, it's a two-man Inferno multi, but iBoy doesn't do enough damage until he hits light with a bit of splash. So interesting, but at least Arlo will teleport in to help try. Oh! You know, it's also funny that even with the package zoning them off, maybe I'm missing this. Uh, we'll find out in the replay because we've said it a lot. Our, the, the games are watching very low frame rate. Uh, it mm. looked like Light even passed the package just with rapid fire cannon range. And heck, maybe he had lethal tempo stacked up. I'm not sure. Was still able to hit members of RA. The package actually didn't mean anything. It didn't stop any damage sure. from following through from the side of LNG. Well, Lyric comes that time where we're going to see LNG do it all again. Because Light's your focus. Four item jinx. We know this is going to a gang three. It's just about when. And for R8, you know, I, I could be, I could say that now. Ten minutes later, something crazy happens where LNG force a fight under the turrets and it all goes horribly wrong with a three and a half item Corky. The Jax, who, you know, is almost a three himself. Let's see how we go. LNG start tunneling in. The minions channel as well. Tarzan pokes them down and iBoy, the belly is big enough to consider as well. As LNG continues. Lyric, doing these poking of doubt. But the problem is, even with the Chaos Storm there, iBoy frontlining for now. That could be the first mistake. The needlework tagging Strive 2. Immortal Shield Bell gives him enough of a shield to hold on, but Super Mega Death Rocket doing its work. Cataclysm into the back line. This is so delayed as Arla's the next point of contact, but iBoy under the gravity field. Finally, it'll come to an end. We go to a game three. We knew it was inevitable, but we just had to wait for the snapping of the fingers for LNG to finally do it. I gotta be totally honest. That did not feel like a 29 minute game. The amount of the amount of sitting and staring and anticipating, uh, you know, not not as ex explosive as a as a team for doing B than FPX was. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Still though. LNG pick up a win means potentially